Radiotherapy can cause many different side effects, such as tiredness. The side effects you get will depend on the area you're having treatment to, but there are some general side effects you might experience regardless of where your cancer is. This video is about the side effects you might have when having radiotherapy to the chest. Radiotherapy can irritate the lining of your esophagus, also known as your food pipe, which can cause soreness and swelling and make it more difficult to swallow. After about two weeks, it started to get more difficult to swallow. The more it progressed, the worse it got and I ended up couldn't eat anything solid at all, so it was virtually down to liquids. It wasn't physically able to swallow anything whatsoever, and that was quite challenging because I was thirsty and I was hungry, but, you know, nothing was happening. <laughs> Eating foods which are soft and easier to swallow can be helpful, um, things such as soup and porridge or mashed potatoes. Yogurt or custard easier because I don't need to chew anything. Soups, trifles, tiramisu's. It's a down to trial and error and keep trying to eat what you can because you really have to keep your body up to scratch. I'd recommend avoiding very spicy foods, um, avoiding foods which are very hot or very cold. Spicy food, definitely. Avoid the peppers and stuff like that. For chest radiotherapy, we would recommend that you avoid alcohol as this can cause more irritation in the area we're treating. I had a dietitian and either on the phone or they're popping. So they noticed that my weight was coming down. So they got a dietitian in and she prescribed all these protein drinks. You can replace the calories by swapping foods for high calorie alternatives or your dietitian can recommend high calorie drinks and food supplements. If you're experiencing pain or heartburn during treatment, speak to your team and they can prescribe medication that can help with that. Being sick was one of the worst things happening. I was just constantly being sick. I would have my porridge in the morning, wait a couple of minutes, and it would be up again. So it was just one of these things. What you eat and drink can affect how sick you feel during treatment. Um, you can drink fizzy drinks and eat ginger, which can help uh, reduce sickness. Um, and we'd recommend avoiding fatty foods or big heavy meals um, which can make you feel more sick. I didn't realise, okay, you can get medication for the anti-sickness until the medical team realises that's what was needed. It's helped me um, slow in not being sick as often as I would have done because a lot of things I'll just be gagging. If you're having problems eating and drinking during your treatment, there are dietitians available which can help you. Having radiotherapy to the chest can affect your breathing. Uh, this may come on about two weeks after treatment begins um, and will continue throughout the rest of treatment. Once you've finished treatment, the breathlessness may continue for a couple of weeks, um, but then recovers after that. Depending on your diagnosis and treatment, you may experience long-term breathing problems and your doctor will discuss that with you before you start treatment. So I've constantly short of breath and I take inhalers twice a day now. I just have to be careful in what I do. I can walk for miles on the flat, but as soon as I hit an incline, that's when I start to get short of breath. I go out walking or cycling every day. Uh, so that's just a constant to try and keep it going. If you are experiencing shortness of breath, we would recommend speaking to your team as soon as you notice it, um, just to make sure there isn't something else going on, such as an infection or blood clot.
If you're experiencing a side effect that hasn't been covered in this video, you can find more information on the Cancer Research UK website.